start at the beginning. Uh, you did your first stage performance when you were four years old, yes, isn't yes, it, with your parents? Well. Do you sort of remember what it felt like, or do you remember what you sang? Or? Of course, of course. It's been pretty, pretty much an old story now. I think even they would know what I'm going to answer right now. Yeah, probably now. they know everything actually. <laughs> well, I'll just repeat for the sake of, you know, formality. I, uh, of course, my parents, Sagam Kumar Nigam and Shubha Nigam, were uh, very, very respected stage artists in Delhi and that's what you could have had in Delhi in those days. You didn't have events, you didn't have as much exposure, so all that you could do in Delhi, being a musician, a singer was stage shows uh, of all kinds, marriages, uh, wedding, uh, uh, what you call, pre-sangeet or birthday parties but, yeah. and mela yeah. yaha waha dilli mein kahi pe, you know, merit mein nochandi ka mela, so SSC shows. And this was our bread and butter, basically, any artist would uh, you know, just uh, rely on, on these little things. So I saw my parents singing on stage and I thought that this is how the world is, you know, right. because that was my world at that point. And the thing which surprises me the most today uh, also is that my parents never encouraged me to sing at home, ki ga ke dikha. So when I was crying that night, in the concert when my father was singing Kya Ho Tera Vada, they were perplexed only because they had no clue whether they can sing or not. So I, being their own son, they, they had no clue that I can sing in Oh my gosh. So that's why my father was like, let's go. I said, and my mother was like, hey, ro ra hai, ro ra hai. And then, <laughs> so then his friends actually said, hey, so when I went on the stage and I sang with my father, Bhulega dil, jis din tumhe, wo din zindagi ka akhri din hoga, kya hua tera vada. That was my first time and that was their first time also, because why would they lie to me, you know? Yeah. They're my parents, why would they say, we never heard you sing? They could probably take pride in saying, we trained you. Yes. But they never even knew. So they, for them it was a shock too. Then later on, of course, you know, as uh, my interest was uh, seen by them, uh, my keenness was witnessed by them, they, of course, encouraged me and uh, I started learning songs by myself. Then I added another song to my kitty. First of all, I used to sing just this uh, portion, Bhule Ke Dil. Then I uh, snatched the whole song from my father and I would sing the whole song. And there's a very interesting inst uh, uh, story to it. Kya hua tera vada, wo kasam wo... See how small I was when I sang. Wo kasam wo irada, bhulega dil. Jis din tumhe, wo din zindagi ka akhri din hoga. Kya hua tera vada, wo kasam wo irada, bhulega dil. Jis din tumhe, wo din zindagi ka akhri din hoga. Kya hua tera vada, wo kasam wo irada, bhulega dil. My parents would say, come on! I sides they go, he look kya kar rahe? and mere loop lag gaya hai. I, I just am going on singing this bhulega dil bhulega dil and my parents were like <laughs> finally i think what something must have happened they would have probably gone and you know mere bhulega jis din tum hai to haath bhi niche gaya so i was really small but it was just it just happened to me and i uh, don't even know when i decided or when somebody decided for me and it's been a nice journey since then. It has. So, uh, is this why you like, you know, you also introduce your son sometimes on stage. Uh, is it that now with you, you feel that unless you expose him, how will he get the thing? I mean, like, so you're doing it differently. There are two ways of answering this question. So, you're right that I, uh, you know, sometimes bring the one on stage because he expresses his desire. Huh. I will sing tonight. He calls me Chotu. Because Chotu. I, yeah, because I used to call him Chotu. So he, as he grew up, he thought that you know this is the way we have to drag this. So he still calls me Chotu. Okay. Chotu, I want to sing today. I want to sing tonight. Chotu, I want to sing tonight. So I uh, comply to his requests. Okay. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin his uh, innocence. Yeah. That is why after Kolaburidi, if I, you know, like any over uh, enthusiastic parent. I would have brought at least six singles of Nevan Nigam by now and made him some like, yeah. uh, what's that guy, Justin Bieber. I would have made him like that because he is capable, he's a good singer, he's a, yeah. he's a cute boy, he's innocent and he has the sense and all. And we also have the sense now, uh, you know, there are so many people who love us, you know, just because of them a song uh, put on Twitter or Facebook can, or YouTube 
can become all because of these people only. Sure, sure. So, sure, but sure. the thing is, I don't want to snatch away the man's childhood because I have had a very tough childhood. I used to study so much. I was the topper of my school. I used to sing uh, in concerts. You know, over there, uh, backstage, I would be doing my homeworks. And then, unfortunately, fortunately, I also, uh, that's, I do not blame my parents for that. We don't have all respects to my parents. But I also acted in a lot of movies between 82 and 83. That was double the work for me. Because I used to miss schools and go for 10 days in some uh, shoots here and there and be alone. Garmi mein bade hoye, bache. So I had a very difficult childhood uh, because uh, perhaps I uh, would have been better if I was slightly more protected. But I, uh, I've been making, I've been a professional for the last 37 years. 77 I started singing on stage. So from then I've been earning money. Yeah. I had, I haven't, I did not uh, sing on stage out of just a hobby. Right. I've been making money since 77. So that is why it's like 37 years now and I feel that I've really worked enough in my life. I need to sometimes let my head down. Just chill somewhere, go to the Himalayas and you know just... Because it's not like 20 years of work. It's 37 years of hard slogging. I've slogged. I don't want to subject my child to these kinds of... Uh, you know, uh, this discipline. True. I want him to be free. You know, anyway, school is a discipline these days. He has to wake up in the morning and go to school with so, such a huge bag. And anyways, we have ruined our children's childhood by giving, yeah. subjecting them to so many things. You know, they do yeah. judos, they do lawn tennis, they do swimming, they do studies, they do what's that mathematic thing? Which is It's like a child is subjected to so much, and then he do So I do it off and on. I expose him to music. And then I completely take him away, okay. so that let him, All uh, yeah, let him be enjoying his innocence as a childhood, as a child. But as a as a child, because you were young boys, did you ever sort of want to be like a firefighter, pilot, uh, train driver, all that? Did that ever come to of you? Of course, science was my primary interest. Even till today, I mean, I, I told you I haven't slept for like yeah. for last thirty years. Yeah. I've been awake since yesterday afternoon. The whole night I watched YouTube science channels. Oh. This is how I mean, science has always been my passion. So I always wanted to become a scientist. Then when we grew slightly older, um, I wanted to visit different countries. So I wanted to go out of India. And we being the typical Kayests, Nigam, Shrivastav, Saxena, all into IS and IFSs. You know, most of the Bhatnagars and Mathurs are always there. You'll find some IS officer in Sinha, some Saxena, some Bhatnagar. So my whole family is like that. So we uh, thought that, you know, I will enter into the IS uh, exams and you know, maybe enter IFS and travel abroad. But by the age of uh, 14 or 15, as a boy's, uh, a boy's voice matures yes. from mummy, 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 from that. <laughs> so when, when you're a mummy, <laughs> then you don't know what you're going to sound like. Because you probably would not b b become like a mummy. You'll become like a mummy. Yeah. So as I became 14 and 15, <laughs> so, so 14 and 15 ki age, I realized that I am going to be a mummy. So uh, then I tried to make my work harder and I will work hard on my music. I learned music only at the age of 18. I never, that was for 6 months. 18? Yeah, that's very really late to start learning And that music. also was just 6 months before coming to Bombay because my father had said, Beta, you are going to Bombay, you are going to Bombay. Jo bade wale composers hain, they won't ask you anything. Jo chote wale guru ghanta wale, they will say, Achha, beta, ye raak kaun sa hai? Ye taal kaun si hai? Sikho, ye, ye karo, kya kar rahe ho? No. Jo bade wale kabhi nahi puchhenge. Lashmi na bade, they will not ask you. Ye kaun sa gaan hai, kaun sa raag mein hai. But the, the people who are not successful, they want to always undermine the other, other person. Struggler ko aur chota dikhayenge. Tu aur ganda hai, tu aur niche hai. Aur gir ke rahe, aise rahe, aise rahe. Hai ki nahi? So that is why Mustafa uh, 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 Muhammad Tahir Ji, Delhi, mein, uh, the, and he taught me for six months. Uh, I learned a lot of ragas properly. Rag, ragas kai ka, rag, and tals from him, and a lot of good things from him. But then I came to Bombay, and then I didn't learn until '97. Oh, then I learned okay. after becoming a playback singer, proper playback singer, under Ustad Muhammad, Wala uh, Mustafa Khan Sahab. Wo bahut bade hai, and uh, we're very lucky to get his. 
uh, you know, blessings. I learned for about a year and a half, but in that year and a half, I gathered whatever I had to, what I could. Okay. Voice culture is the main thing. Because unless somebody teaches you, uh, you do sa, yeah, sa, yeah, sa. If somebody doesn't understand your voice, he won't be able to guide you. Yeah, right. So, uh, Guruji, as I, as I call him, yeah. he has a very uh, extraordinary acumen in understanding voices and explaining. So, from him, I uh, learned a lot and I'm really thankful to him. Yeah, but that was the question I was going to come to. That see, so many people learn music. There's so many music schools and everything. But what is that one thing that makes a really good Guruji? And what is the one thing that makes a really good student that you need to have? It's a very beautiful question, beautifully put. I would say, uh, first of all, of course, when you really uh, deserve to be a student, you get a teacher. Okay. When you deserve to be, when you have that humility, when you really want from the cosmos that please teach me something which I don't know, please guide me and then you find the right people, okay. whether uh, you know directly or indirectly. So even though Ghulam Mustafa Khan Sahib Ji and uh, Muhammad Tahir Ji have taught me on a person to person level, the number of people who I can call my gurus is I think more than 200, 300 people. I have listened to so many singers. So many voices, I have, like, uh, in a way I've analyzed them, uh, whether I ever used their styles or not, mm. but I analyzed them. Like, I've never used Talak Mahmoodji's uh, style of singing in any of my songs, yeah. but I've analyzed him. I can copy him. I know that this is how, if he would sing this song, which is sung by Kishore Umarji, he would sound like this. I, in my head, I know this. So I've studied them to that uh, level, okay. and which is... Uh, something which opened my uh, brain when, when I when I would express a certain song or if I have to do a Kal Ho Na Ho or Ikal Le Bhaiya, Samal Le Bhaiya, that song cannot be done in that voice. No. So uh, because I studied so many voices, that is why I my, my kind of conscience opened, musical conscience opened. So you can have direct gurus and you can have indirect gurus also. But Shraddha agar nahi hai, you will never get, there's a beautiful Urdu word, Shafa. Uske hathu mein Shafa hai. And uh, it also brings me to another question about, uh, uh, you know, I've even seen that picture of yours at uh, Lataji, Tata Didi in your house. So yeah. you obviously respect her a lot. And you, so when the first time you met her, the feelings that you took from that meeting, I want to ask you, how much do you apply that when you meet young, struggling singers, like which you were at one point? See, all these questions can only come from somebody who's seasoned as you, who's seen the world, and you coming out with uh, questions which are actually so integral in in one's uh, growth as a professional or as a human being. Yes, it is extremely, extremely. Uh, no, I, I would say my seniors have not just taught me what to do, but they've also taught me what not to do in my life. And uh, without divulging the names and details, I would say that yes, I've, I've, I, I have had some tough times with some of my uh, seniors. And that has made me a much more careful and cautious person. I would never want anyone to uh, look at me with disappointment. I loved him so much and this is what he did to me. Yeah. Unless the other person is going crazy. Okay, if that person is going crazy and he is expecting me to uh, endure all that, then you're wrong. Yeah. But if the person is giving me, you know, that genuine respect, yeah. not even, uh, he shouldn't be a psychophant, <laughs> shouldn't be a yeah. chamcha, but he, yeah. he can, he has to be the genuine uh, person who is giving us a respect, then I would definitely go out of my way to make them uh, feel happy. And uh, sometimes you do, um, uh, encounter situations like I was in Dallas in 2003 and we were touring with A.R. Rahman, uh, Sukhvinder Ji, mein, uh, Shankar, and all the people. So that was like back to back third show. We all are sleepy, groggy, tired. We reached in the afternoon and after two hours we have a concert. So we all are sleepy completely. And there is this lady with the children. <laughs> So 
मैं मेरे बाल ऐसे हुए पड़े ट्रैक पैंट पहन के मैं घूम रहा हूँ कहीं कॉलर इधर कचरे कुछ और चश्मा लगा बिकॉज नींद आ रही है लिटरली ऐसी हालत होती है यू आर ट्रैवलिंग सेवन सेवन आवर्स एट आवर्स फ्लाइट आपकी चल रही है और सडनली समबडी होल्स यू है मैंने सिर्फ ऐसे किया जस्ट वीट आई एम नॉट इवन लुकिंग प्रेजेंटेबल टू क्लिक पिक्चर विद यू He's so He's so so rude. 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 Look at Sukhvinder Singh. He He clicked pictures with us. He's so rude. Arre, bula, itni bhi galt. Eh, then I realized it's not a fault of Sukhvinder Singh. 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 Sukhvinder
कैसे ऐसे दिया है दिस इज हाउ इज एक्सप्रेसिव कैसे रहू कैसे रहो कितनी भी हरकत मार लो आप कुछ भी कर लो आप जब कैसे रहो अगर आपने ये कह के नहीं दिखाया गाने के आवाज में देन यू नॉट अ सिंगर दिस इज वॉट अव इट्स हिम explain it that it could be this but it could be this and the you know the difference that uh-huh. thing yeah uh, yeah it's because i i knew like is ek cheez ko kitni tarike se gaya ja sakta hai could you could express one line in so many different ways and then there's some genius who comes and who taught him you know today we 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 have his uh, had his cassettes now cds and all yeah. uh, we have so much references today how did these guys learn all this exactly. who taught mohammad rafi to express like this छूलने दो नाजुक हूँ नाज नाजुक को नाजुक बोलना है छूलने hmm. दो नाजुक होटो ये भी सकता है यहाँ पे छूलने दो नाजुक ये भी बिकॉज यू ड्रंकर बट टू कीप द राइट बैलेंस छूलने दो ना यू सो ही साउंडिंग ड्रंकर ऑल्सो ही साउंडिंग समन हु इज जिल्टेड इन लव हु इज एंग्री ऑल्सो हाउ हु टॉट दिस गाइज इज बैलेंस एंड आई क्राई I when I think about all this, the geni- this, um, genius of Kishor Kumar ji. When I hear, listen to his songs, Lata ji, Asha ji, Manna de Sahab, Himan Kumar ji. Tu pukar lo. कितनी शराफत है. ये शराफत. Oh re taal mile nadi ke jal me. Nad. लेको गवार आदमी गा रहा है. ऐसे लगता है कोई गाँव का है. Nadi mile saagar me. So when I analyze these guys, I I I uh, cry a lot. I feel this has to be just divine blessing. You cannot acquire this talent in this birth. You have to be born with this. Mm. And so you witnessing, experiencing God through that music. Mm. And you, if you can see it, then you blessed. I am. <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah. You completely agree. And like you said, that's how you have so many. uh teachers because you are learning all the time from everybody absolutely, absolutely, yeah absolutely. yeah okay from the totally sublime to the little ridiculous you won't say that you can you can out himesh himesh <laughs> <laughs> just just the other day you said you sing better than himesh you sing better than himesh sings himesh himself i want you to sing for us maine se kyun bola मैंने तो उसे नहीं बोला था इंदु जी ना डोंट पुट वर्ड्स इन माय नोज बॉम्बे <laughs> I am so disappointed to tell you I know exactly where I have to go but I'm not going there I don't know why I I exactly have a picture of what kind of life I want okay. I have this vision I know that I will be most happy leading a life like that but I'm procrastinating procrastinating it How will you put your profession along with this if you live somewhere else Oh anyways my profession has been under uh, the eclipse because of the copyright <laughs> law <laughs> yeah. my songs have been uh, made to uh, be Dumb. dubbed by other singers uh, yes. at the behest of uh, some we all know yeah some guys so no anyway i'm, I'm joking it's getting better now it's getting better now i have davatesh ka gana aage mera kamal ho gaya now i'm going to uh, another show as i told you yes. kapil sharma show usme yeah. there's a movie called tamanchi that's coming usme mere gaane dildara i tweeted about that it's a beautiful yes. song you'll love it फिर और भी बहुत हैं मैं बोलूंगा नहीं लेट 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 देम कम आउट बिकॉज यू नेवर नो व्हिच वन गेट्स डब्ड इवेंचुअली सो यू आर वेरी शॉक्ड अबाउट द वेल यू नो वेल इट्स ओके इट्स ऑल दैट्स व्हाट मेक्स अ लेजेंड दीस स्टोरीज मेक अ लेजेंड 
<laughs> if you don't, if you had a simple life, if all your songs were yours, who will talk about you? So ten years later, <coughs> जब रात को बच्चा सोएगा नहीं, तो उसकी माँ उसको बता कि बेटा, hangover सोनू निगम ने गाया था। ऐसे होगा, तो फिर बच्चा सो जाएगा। Now you know, I remember meeting you. Uh, this is very strange. The day you sang the Sandesh Aate Hai. I remember we did an interview that day and you said, I've just sung this mind blowing song. And I didn't uh, know, it, had, it wasn't out, obviously. You had just was sung it. Golden it. Chariot, man? Uh? It, it was in Golden Chariot, I think. If I, the first time I met I, you was in Golden Chariot. Uh, I really? don't remember the location. But we were doing an interview. So yeah. I, I think it was. It was yes. Studio. I still remember. You look, still look the same. Thank you. <laughs> you look the same too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For but yeah. Uh, so yes, I remember. So what, the question there is that you know when you're singing a song like Sunday se aate hain, or you're singing a song my all-time favorite Kal Hona Ho, mm. or you're singing the Agni Pat song. So when yeah. you're singing it, you probably realize this is going to be like a landmark song in your career, isn't it? And no, Induji. No. Uh, we. I would say the better way to put uh, forward this answer is that. I would think a lot, uh, think like this, uh, uh, for a lot more songs. Okay. But not every song becomes a hit. Yeah. There are a lot of such beautiful songs which just got lost in uh, oblivion, in the because the movies didn't do well, probably not promoted well, or sometimes they were not in the films. So, which maybe when you were recording, also you did think that they were yeah thing, yeah. but actually it didn't very happen. Much, in India. That must I be a bit heartbreaking. I can, I can think of a lot. Of, yeah, but then you. Learn to take it in the stride eventually. When you are younger, when you it's like awards also. You know, when you're younger, when you have never received awards, then you feel, oh my God, I deserve this award. After you receive awards, and you realize, okay, wait, these are gifts. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> you get it, enjoy it. If you don't get it, just don't throw yeah, tantrums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all learn. You know, yeah. I was a kid too. And how do you account? I mean, I do know that reality shows are what is bringing us a lot of singers into the film industry, and good ones, not so good ones, and all that. But how do you account for this sudden, like, um, uh, you know, so many singers in the space? Is it that people are just becoming better, they're being discovered better, or is it just technology that's helping? What, what exactly is it? I feel there is a bigger universal uh, plan that is in place. So. Why there are so many singers who can sing well, and you're right. A lot of them sing really well, and I, I'm astonished myself. When I see them, what kind of children are they? They are so young, and what kind of songs I feel that they have, their souls have been super inspired by us. That's nice. They have seen us as children. Oh, yes, a song. Just how inspired we are. Like we were inspired by our by our teachers. So every generation who is the next generation gets inspired by the next generation. Right. So I feel they have enjoyed Sare Gama. When I used to do Sare Gama, they must have been kids and they must have seen and they must have seen so many good singers coming. So when they 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 must have in their mind manifested this dream of becoming singers and of of that level. So they got to you know train themselves. Or get accustomed to good music. Hmm. Perhaps that's why you have so many good singers, and I think uh, what I'm saying makes sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, reality shows, of course, have got us a lot of singers, as I just said. Uh, how do you rate your reality show experience, uh, if you were to say, uh, as a contributory fact to your super career today? Yes, uh, especially Saragama. Yeah. Because at that time, I didn't, I didn't have any work. I did, I was not getting uh, the major songs. I remember '95 May we started uh, Sare Gama, first of May, and uh, Sunday Sadhya came in '97. Idil Diwana '97. So for two years, I if you, I only thrived on uh, Sare Gama. On Sare Gama and uh, my concerts basically were because of Sare Gama. Hmm. And we all need money when you are living in a new con uh, city. You, when you are, you know. I was from Delhi. I, we didn't have any godfather over here. We were not rich people. We were complete, completely, you know, aaj ka, aaj ka maur, aaj aaj khao. Khao. we yeah. didn't have a bank balance or something. Yeah. So at that point, we needed concerts. Concerts, aaj kitne hote Tab to hote bhi nahi the aise concerts. Ne. So we, we had to, you know, save money, make money, save money, make money. But we never got that from uh, film songs yeah, until 97, 98. So Sare Gama was something, and I'm glad it happened that way also. People got to know real, got to know the real me. Yes. Because they heard the way I spoke, I spoke my heart out. They heard my language, they heard, uh, you know, my my thoughts. 
I hope they know that I I was always honest about it. My respect and my surrender to my seniors. Mehdi Saab sat in the bagel, Naushad Saab sat in, Gulam Ali Ji, who who who? I mean, Zakir Bhai, Ravi Shankar Ji, Pandit Ram Narayan Ji, Kalyan Ji, Bhai, Anand Ji, Bhai, I mean, Shiv Kumar Sharma Ji, Hari Prasad Chaurasia Ji, on people whom I've learned from Anup Ji, Rota Ji, Pankaj Das Ji, Talat Aziz Ji, Kumar Shanu Ji, Udit Narayan Ji. अभिजीत दा, all great राज कुमारी जी बैठी हैं, मंदाड़ी बैठे हों, अनिल बेसुवाज बैठे हैं, मस्ती कर रहे हैं आपस में, I'm, I'm the host of the show. Sure. So more than that, I was more proud of the fact that God chose me to be a part of such envious, enviable history of music. Absolutely. अच्छा, I want to read out something you said, but this is like not really music related, this is more life related. So you you spoke about marriage. Yeah. And uh, you said that uh, the truth is that marriage is never a happy story. You can never be happily married, and I say this very openly. In the next hundred years, there will be no marriages. There will be there will be only contracts, and it will be better that way because the killer in a marriage is security. Uh, the moment you start feeling secure, you start taking people for granted. And then you said, I haven't seen even one happy couple. Do you still stand by this? Is it just something you still believe? Hari ji, my hospital me jaane ka admitting. इनका सवाल इतना अच्छा है कि मैं आज आज तो हॉस्पिटल जाऊंगा ही जाऊंगा आज पक्का हो गया। मेरी बीवी मार डालेगी मेरे को बेटा इतना ज़्यादा खोल के बोलता हूँ मैरिज के। I'm so anti marriage not I mean don't take me otherwise but my wife would hate me for saying this again and again and again and again but now that you have insinuated this conversation so I have to again give you my point of view yes very very respectfully very very uh, genuinely, I feel the institution of marriage needs to be reworked on. Because today, women are not going to take any shit. Earlier marriages were successful because man could do whatever he wanted to do with the woman. She would sit at home, be beaten up by him, uh, you know, raise his children, have another sotan probably, uh, tabbi, or you know, some oppressors would come from Afghanistan kill the men, take away the women, kill the kids. So that was our history and very dirty history. I feel we are living in the best of the times. If you read our history, which I read very uh, often, yeah. we were living in terrible times. Some Absolutely. Nadir Shah is coming, raping our women, killing our men, yeah. some uh, wo kya, Taimur Ling coming. Kya kya ho ra tha you know? Tipu Sultan ne bhi kitna kiya hai exactly. kitna kuch hota tha. Now, times are different. Women are for the first time experiencing this oxygen. They've never, in the history probably, I'm, I'm also talking about stone ages, mm. they, they would be so cruel to women. Exactly. Today for the first time society is balanced. In such a balance what happens is, there are plus points which is very important. Women need to be given this thing because they have suffered for centuries and centuries. But then you also know that there is a man that comes out in a woman. There is when you become, uh, uh, you know, Strong. uh, a stronger person. Mm -hmm. There is masculine trait. We all know science is Absolutely. There, there is masculine trait. Yeah. So the man starts feeling that you are with a man. Because he becomes a woman. Because he becomes a woman. Because he becomes slightly feminine. Yeah. So I am giving only uh, assessment of what I, I have generally seen from, in my friends and you know my close family. I have seen how marriages crumble and. Uh, another uh, huge factor which uh, is marriages hai, wo hai, taken for granted ki feeling. Mm -hmm. Familiarity breeds contempt. Mm -hmm. When you are in love with a person, you want to make her happy, you want to make him happy, you can do everything. Once you know you are married, uske baad chalna abhi. Hai na. Bhi hai, kya isko gift dana abhi? Abhi mera pati hai, abhi kya sar uska, sala sur, sar gaya mera, abhi kya sar uska. So this is how yes. familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. Yeah. Where, what I thought, probably uh, some of you would agree, some of you might find it's too uh, overstretched. If you put a duration to a marriage, like two years of marriage, two years of marriage will be nullified. Hmm. First six months, you will like make love like crazy, you will go crazy, you will pamper the person. You can fight for the next six months probably. After that, you will have a hour. One year after one year, she is going to be, she's not going to be my wife. I better be nice to her. Yeah. Yeah. I better be nice to him because he is providing me so much, and uh, you know he's in a way he's a good guy, good man. But you know sometimes we fight. That one year will be spent making up for everything. 
and then you can decide that might work because when you have this eternal promise of you know hum ek saath rahenge ya to divorce kar lenge then you completely screw up your marriages and every i'm, I'm not saying 100% 99% people mere aas paas to hai aur main aapko ekdam sach bol raha hu 99% log main bhi unme se aata hu because i also assess marriages a lot and i feel what we were together when we were married uh, we, when we were not married is not what we are today right. which is not a good sign why should i compromise why should she compromise right so there is there is not some anything wrong in her and me huh. there is not anything wrong in my friends and their wives it's the association of marriage it's a furnace if you put this and this in a furnace they will cease to remain this Absolutely. the cup will not remain this if you put a mobile phone in a in a furnace it will not remain a mobile that's what marriage is you put two people in a furnace they will not remain the same this is what marriage is very good i think that's an excellent uh, observation and i have actually just one person sorry which i was had by for to ask you is your mimicry you're so good at it uh how did you come about this how did you discover how good you are at all this kya kare khujli khujli and i actually it's something which has come uh, to my you know uh, to my benefit in music also yeah so it's uh, and i it's not, it's not just me a lot of uh, artists are good mimics lata bai is a very good mimic asha ji is a very good mimic bahut uh, the lot of other singers are also badmash mai thoda zyada hu par wo bhi kam nahi hai they are also very badmash but lata didi also are bahut badmash ho the cute way she is got lots of characters in her so she does mujhe laga wahan pe wo baithe the she will make a face and पूरा फुल कॉमेडी है उनका पूरा फुल कॉमेडी है राशा जी भी सेम ऐसी हैं खूब मस्ती करते हैं तो एंड होना ही चाहिए सर विश योर आर्टिस्ट यू यू मस्ट बी एबल टू डू सम मिमिक्री सो कैन यू मिमिक लाइक एनीवन नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं अच्छा ऐसा नहीं अच्छा 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 ना डोंट आस्क मी टू मिमिक यू बिकॉज़ आई विल नॉट लाइक इट तू मेरे सामने है तेरी जुल्फ है खुली तेरा आ चल है ढला 